Goodbye Cancer. That's the happy ending following Moe's micrographic surgery for more than 97% of new skin cancer cases. The procedure usually takes just a few hours, too, meaning you can walk into your doctor's office with cancer and walk out cancer-free. Mohs surgery is most often used to treat basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas, the two most common skin cancers. It removes skin with cancer cells layer by layer while preserving as much surrounding healthy tissue as possible. The precise surgical procedure is ideal for treating skin cancer on your face, neck, or in sensitive areas such as your hands, feet, or genitals. Here's how the surgery works. The skin around the cancer cell is numbed with an injected anesthetic. You are awake during the entire step-by-step -step procedure. Any visible raised area of the cancer is removed first. Your surgeon then begins removing layers of skin affected by the cancerous cells. The area is mapped to determine the margin or border of the cancer. After each layer comes off, your surgeon examines the edges of the removed tissue under a microscope to check for cancer cells. If any are found at the edge or at the base of what has been removed, an additional thin layer of tissue is removed and inspected. The process continues until no cancer cells are seen in the removed tissue. This step-by-step -step approach allows the surgeon to verify that all cancer cells have been taken out, increasing the chances for a successful outcome. The numbers say it works. Mohs surgery has the highest cure rate of all treatments, greater than 99% confidence for basal cell and 97% for squamous cell skin cancers. Healing time varies based upon the size of the tumor. You may leave the office with a simple dressing over the surgical area. The wound sometimes just heals on its own. Other times, stitches may be needed. Peace of mind often accompanies the procedure, as you'll be leaving knowing the cancer is gone. Plan on regular follow-ups with your doctor, though, as anyone who has had skin cancer has an increased risk of developing it again.